Hi guys, welcome to Majest Tech. Today we are discussing about Telegram bots. Before that, guys you should know this, Telegram is unlike any another messaging platforms. As you know Telegram is an instant messaging platform, not like any another messaging platforms. Guys, in our channel we have already a video which talks about this. Telegram's unique features. Guys it will be worth full to watch this video. In Telegram there are four type of messaging categories. One is personal chats, then group chats. Then the other two categories are entirely different from any in other messaging platforms. One is Telegram channels, and the other is Telegram bots. Guys, in this video, we are talking about Telegram bots. Channel video is already out you can watch it from here. Okay let's talk about Telegram bots. What is Telegram bots? Bots are third-party applications that run inside Telegram. Users can interact with bots by sending them messages, commands and inline requests. You control your bots using HTTPS requests to our bot API. Or, bots are simply Telegram accounts, which is operated by software, not people. And they'll often have AII features. They can do anything. Teach, play, search, broadcast, remind, connect integrate with other services, or even pass commands to the Internet of Things. Telegram integrated bots, in their 3.0 update. Guys, Telegram apps makes interacting with bots super easy. In most cases you won't even have to type anything, because bots will provide you with a set of custom buttons. Bots can now provide you with custom keyboards for specialized tasks that could look like this for example, like this. Guys. Here are some sample bots that were built by the platform's beta testers. Bots in Telegram will look different from human users. Their chat and profile screens have a slightly different UI and they don't have access to all messages by default when added to groups. In Telegram, any forwarded message contains a link to its original sender. This means, any message from a bot, forwarded to a person or group is a messaging equivalent of a retweet. So if you need more stuff like that, then you can simply click on its label and get into that bot this will also helps to make a bot viral. Additionally, all bots have an add to group and a share button in their profile. You can set up a description and link that will be used when people share your bot on Telegram or other platforms. A typical link to a bot looks like this. Opening such a link, starts a chat with that bot if you have Telegram installed. These links are easy to identify because all bot usernames must end in bot what can I do with bots? To name just a few things, you could use bots too. Number 1. Get customized notifications and news. A bot can act as a smart newspaper, sending you relevant content as soon as it's published. Number 2. Integrate with other services. A bot can enrich Telegram chats with content from external services. Here are some extremely useful bots. Gmail bot, GIF bot, IMDB bot, Wiki bot, Music bot, YouTube bot, GitHub bot. Number 4. Accept payments from Telegram users. A bot can offer paid services or work as a virtual storefront. Number 5. Create custom tools. A bot may provide you with alerts, weather forecasts, translations, formatting or other services. Some example bots. Markdown bot. Sticker bot. Vote bot. Like bot. Number 6. Build single and multiplayer games. A bot can offer rich HTML5 experiences, from simple arcades and puzzles to 3D shooters and real-time strategy games example, game bot, Grammy. Number 7. Build social services. A bot could connect people looking for conversation partners based on common interests or proximity. How do bots work? At the core, Telegram bots are special accounts that do not require an additional phone number to set up. Users can interact with bots in two ways. First one is, send messages and commands to bots by opening a chat with them or by adding them to groups. Second one is, send requests directly from the input field by typing the bots at username and a query. This allows sending content from inline bots directly into any chat, group or channel. Messages, commands and requests sent by users are passed to the software running on your servers. Telegram's intermediary server handles all encryption and communication with the Telegram API for us. We communicate with this server via a simple HTTPS interface that offers a simplified version of the Telegram API. Telegram call that interface our bot API. 
How do I create a bot? Bots have no online status and no last seen time stamps. The interface shows the label bot instead. Bots have limited cloud storage. Old messages may be removed by the server shortly after they have been processed. Bots can't initiate conversations with users. A user must either add them to a group or send them a message first. People can use Teamy, bot username, links or username search to find your bot. Bot usernames always end in bot. When added to a group, bots do not receive all messages by default. See privacy mode, bot perks. Telegram bots are unique in many ways. Telegram offer two kinds of keyboards, additional interfaces for default commands and deep linking as well as text formatting and much, much more. Inline mode, guys users can interact with bots via inline queries straight from the text input field in any chat. All they need to do is start a message with Telegram bots username and then type a query. Having received the query, Telegram bots can return some results. As soon as the user taps one of them, it is sent to the user's currently open chat. This way, people can request content from Telegram bots in any of their chats, groups or channels. Check our Majaz Tech Telegram channel to see an example of inline bots. Payment platform. You can use bots to accept payments from Telegram users around the world. From the user's perspective the system is completely seamless. Your bot sends a specially formatted invoice message. Such messages feature a photo and description of the product along with a prominent pay button. Tapping this button opens a special payment interface right in the Telegram app. The user enters the necessary info. Choose one of their saved cards or enter a new one. Telegram also supports Apple Pay and Android Pay. And pay for your product. Here's what the process may look like. Gaming platform. Bots can offer their users HTML5 games to play solo or to compete against each other in groups and one-on-one -on -one chats. The platform allows your bot to keep track of high scores for every game played in every chat. Whenever there's a new leader in the game, other playing members in the chat are notified that they need to step it up. Since the underlying technology is HTML5, the games can be anything from simple arcades and puzzles to multiplayer 3D shooters and real-time strategy games. Our team has created a couple of simple demos for you to try out. You can also check out the app game EEBot that has more than 20 games. Link in description. Keyboards. Traditional chatbots can of course be taught to understand human language. But sometimes you want some more formal input from the user. And this is where custom keyboards can become extremely useful. Whenever a bot sends a message, it can pass along a special keyboard with predefined reply options. It will shown as a message button. Tapping any of the buttons will immediately send the respective command. This way Telegram drastically simplified user interaction with Telegram bots. Now currently support text and emoji for message buttons. Here are some custom keyboard examples. Commands. Commands present a more flexible way to communicate with Telegram bots. The following syntax may be used. Command A command must always start with a symbol and may not be longer than 32 characters. Commands can use Latin letters, numbers and underscores. Here are a few examples. Get messages stats set timer 10 minutes alarm get time zone London. UK messages that start with a slash are always passed to the bot. This is done automatically when commands are selected via the list of suggestions. Please remember that your bot needs to be able to process commands that are followed by its username. Global commands in order to make it easier for users to navigate the bot multiverse. We ask all developers to support a few basic commands. Telegram apps will have interface shortcuts for these commands. Users will see a start button when they first open a conversation with your bot help and settings links will be available in the menu on the bot's profile page. Privacy mode. Bots are frequently added to groups in order to augment communication between human users, e.g. by providing news, notifications from external services or additional search functionality. This is especially true for work-related groups. Now, when you share a group with a bot, you tend to ask yourself how can I be sure that the little rascal isn't selling my chat history to my competitors? The answer is, privacy mode. A bot running in privacy mode will not receive all messages that people send to the group. Instead, it will only receive. Privacy mode is enabled by default for all bots, except bots that were added to the group as admins. Bot admins always receive all messages. 
It can be disabled, so that the bot receives all messages like an ordinary user. The bot will need to be re-added to the group for this change to take effect. We only recommend doing this in cases where it is absolutely necessary for your bot to work. Users can always see a bot's current privacy setting in the group members list. In most cases, using the force reply option for the bot's messages should be more than enough. Guys, I think this is enough for you at least this time. If you really want to know more, then please check our description below. My dear friends if you like this video, then don't forget to leave a like and comment. Then if you haven't subscribed, then please consider to subscribe. Now you can join our Telegram channel to know more about Telegram. So guys that's all for this time and I hope see you next time. Bye your matches.